Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the program. Class number 125. Another bit of a milestone, I would say. 125. So we're 100, then a quarter of another 100. So after this, we'll have, uh, well, we'll have 70 more classes, right? 70 more classes. Not bad. We're moving along through the material. We're getting there. We are. We're, we're getting there, right? We're slowly but surely. Slow and steady wins the race, they say. I think that's true, and we're covering things in great detail here. And today, more of the same. Getting started with a review of, of uh, yesterday's class, which was 124. And uh, yesterday we got off to a good start. I felt that we, we got off to a good start. We had this expression, to get off to a good start, right? Empezar con buen pie. To, start, to get off to a good start. And the opposite is to get off to a bad start. Hmm. Did everything get off to a good start today? Yes, everything got off to a good start today. Did you get off to a good start today? Yes, I got off to a good start today. Did your brother get off to a good start today? Yes, my brother got off to a good start today. Did your mother get off to a good start with her project? Yes, she got off to a good start with her project. Did this year get off to a good start? Meh. Yeah, I think it got off to a pretty good start. Okay. Did it get off to a bad start? No, I don't think it got off to a bad start. So we have, it's, it's a phrasal verb. Well, well, get off, get off, and then get off to a good start, a bad start. So, so conjugating the verb to get, very simple. It's just a matter of remembering to use this structure. It's very easy. Get off to a good start, get off, get off to a bad start. So I think this class has got off to a good start so far. And let's, um, let's move on now, uh, because yesterday, yesterday, I didn't get to talk about get to. We have another structure with get, to, with the verb to get. The king of verbs. You may know that I have a, I have a program called the Verb Circus where I talk about different verbs and every show, I spend one program talking about one verb. Except for the verb to get. When we cover the verb to get, I spend three programs talking about this verb because it's so dynamic. There's so much to it. The verb to get. And this is one interesting use. To get to, in the sense of to manage to, to, to conseguir hacer algo. Okay, or you can say to get someone to do something. Okay, so we can say, we, we, we can get our friend to do it. Get John to do it. The computer's broken, but I don't know how to fix it. I'll get John to do it. I'll get Dave to do it. I'll get him to do it. I'll get her to do it. I'll get them to look at it. I'll get them to fix it. I'll get him to help me. Right? So I when I'm when I'm saying this I will I will get someone to do something conseguir que alguien haga algo to get someone to do something conseguí que él la hiciera I got him to do it conseguiste que enviaran los informes Did you get them to send the reports so to get someone to do something, yeah. Sometimes I, I'll admit I'm making trans when I make translations up. I have to get someone to help me check them. I get someone in the office. Very often I get uh, Nacho in the studio here to to help me. I say, Nacho, can you help me with this? I have to get I have to get someone to help me with the translations, or maybe I get. Uh, Carmen in the office to help me with translations, or I get Alvaro 
to help me. I get different people to help me with different things, and sometimes people get me to help them with things. Uh, Alberto gets me to help him with recordings. He gets me to help him with uh, voice work for our magazine, the Vaughn Review. He has the magazine. He said, I, 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 I can't do this. Uh, maybe, well, maybe I'll get Kyle to do it. Kyle, can you do it? And he gets me to do it sometimes. So to get someone to do something. Okay. Now we also have um, other, something else, something else that is worth uh, discussing to get to, as in to have the opportunity to. And uh, this is an interesting use that my students don't really use this structure very often, but it's an interesting one, to get to, as in to have the opportunity to. So, for example, um, I hope I get to visit Russia someday. I've never been to Russia, but I want to go. I hope I get to visit Russia someday. I hope I get to meet the new manager today. I hope I get to meet him. The thing I like about Spain, I've given this example before, the thing I like about Spain, and well, the thing I like about my job here, is that I get to meet a lot of people. I get to meet, I have the opportunity to, and the ability to, meet a lot of interesting people. I get to meet a lot of interesting people. I get to experience a different culture. I get to learn Spanish. I get to practice my Spanish, and I get to enjoy some great food. And, and I, I get to enjoy a great culture. But I don't get to see my family very often. So I don't, get, I, don't, I don't have the ability to. Okay, I don't get to see my family very often when I'm here in Spain. I don't get to see my brother. I don't get to see my mother. I don't get to see my father very often. I don't get to see my friends. When I go home to Canada, which is maybe once or twice a year, I get to see them. I get to see my, my family, and I get to see my Canadian friends, but I don't get to see my Spanish friends, and I don't get to practice my Spanish. When I come back to Spain, I get to see my Spanish friends again and practice my Spanish again. I get to work in this job that I enjoy, but I don't get to see my family. Okay? So, to get to, as in to have the opportunity to, I just gave you probably 30 examples in that little few uh, minutes of, of, of speaking there. I gave you plenty of examples to get to, as in to have the opportunity to. Okay? Now I'd like to move on and take a look at our expression of the day. Expression of the day. All right, the expression of the day today is par for the course. Now, par, we, par is average or even, we say. But par, this comes from golf, a golf course, right? The campo, the, the, the golf course. And when you, when you have par, this is the, the zero, this is the, the benchmark for measuring golf scores, right? Well, although to, to shoot, when they say shooting par, or to achieve a score that is par, is good. I mean, you have to be, you know, basically a professional to shoot par. But par for the course really it means it means average okay average so so or or normal or typical so you say well that's par for the course if you say Kyle i find the third conditional a bit difficult i would say well you know that's par for the course here it's normal a lot of my students find it difficult that's kind of par for the course i have problems with this well don't worry that's par for the course it's 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 normal it's typical it's average it's 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 not it, it's not surprising, right? It's, it's fairly par for the course, we say. All right? So par for the course, that's our expression of the day. Now as we move on into class number 125, we have another phrasal verb. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you like phrasal verbs. And um, we have one here, which is to take up. Que es ocupar. To take up, typically with space or time. To take up time. I'm probably going to take up four minutes talking about this phrasal verb. I'll probably take up about four minutes of the class. Four minutes of the class will be taken up 
by discussing this phrasal verb. So, time, to occupy time. So, we're quantifying something. We're saying how much of the time will be taken up or how much of the time is taken up by something. Right? Now, we, we, it's tricky. It's a bit difficult knowing when we use take and when we use take up. For example, driving to Barcelona takes five hours. Okay? Tarda. The verb tardar to take. It takes five hours. It takes five hours to drive to Barcelona. But we, we would say driving to Barcelona took up five hours of my day. It took up five hours of my time. It, so to take up a period of time of, of something, to take up five hours of my day, it takes up a lot of my time. Preparing and preparing these radio shows takes up a lot of my time. Making questions takes up my time. Making this radio show takes up a lot of my day. It takes up a lot of my time, a lot of my afternoon coming here to record this show. It takes up a lot of my day. Yeah. Now, we also see this with space. I'm sitting in a room. I'm sitting here in, in the studio here, the Vaughn Radio studio. And in the room, there's a big table. There's a big table where people come and they sit and they join the host for the radio programs. And um, the table probably takes up Oof, I would say the table takes up half the room. It takes up about half the room. It occupies about half the room. It takes so so it occupies maybe forty or fifty percent of the space in this room. Yeah. So half forty or fifty percent of the space in the room is taken up by the table. The table takes up. Um, 40 or 50 percent of the room, right? So, also, there are, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chairs around the table right now. There are seven chairs. I am taking up one of the chairs. I'm occupying one of the chairs. Only one of the chairs is taken up today. The other chairs are empty. The other chairs are not taken up. They're not taken up by anyone. They're empty. One of the chairs is taken up. There are seven of them, and only one of them is taken up. It's taken up by me. It's being occupied by me. Hmm. How much of your time is taken up by shopping? Not much. A little bit of my time is taken up by shopping. How much of your time is taken up by studying English? Hopefully a lot of your time is taken up by studying English. It will be time well spent, right? Okay, let's move on and take a look at our vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. That's right, time now for the vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. Tormenta de nieve. Tormenta de nieve. I saw one of these in December when I was at home in Canada for Christmas. I encountered one of these, a few of them actually. Snowstorm. Snowstorm. So remember, starting with the S, not, not E-S, but s snowstorm. Gritar. This verb, gritar, is the verb to yell. Yell. Hey, what are you doing to yell? Hasta ahora todo bien. We say, so far, so good. Ask me how I'm doing today. Kyle, how are you doing today? Well, so far, so good. Hasta ahora todo bien. So far, so good. Lengua. Lengua is tongue. Tongue. Tarde o temprano. Sooner or later. Sooner or later. Sooner or later. Sooner or later. Tarde o temprano. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more thing to look at today. And I don't think we're going to have time to get through it all. But we'll try our best. We'll do a few examples with our translation list. 
Translation. All right, yes, it is time for our translation list. Today, we're looking at, from the advanced translation book, uh, translation list number 41. Okay, so again, I'm going to read these in Spanish out loud, and I need you to give me the English translation. Okay, I'll give you some time. Number one, dejaron toda su fortuna al cartero. They left their whole fortune to the postman. Wow, lucky guy. They left their whole fortune to the postman. Number two, parecían una pareja tan normal. They seemed like such a normal couple. They seemed like such a normal couple. Number three, casi nadie les hacía caso. Hardly anyone paid any attention to them. Hardly anyone paid any attention to them. So to pay attention, prestar atención. In English, pagamos, no prestamos. Atención. To pay attention, right? Hardly anyone paid any attention to them. Number four. Hay una escasez de materias primas. There's a shortage of raw materials. There's a shortage of raw materials. And number five. Tenemos que recurrir a las importaciones. We have to resort to imports. We have to resort to imports. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have enough raw materials. We have to resort to imports. Recurrirá, to resort to. All right, and I'm going to have to resort to finishing this list tomorrow because we're completely out of time. Uh, so we've got through some of it, but I, well, we'll come back. We'll review this. We'll review everything, all the new material from today and the rest of this list and, um, and so much more. I do hope you'll join me. Same time, same place. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.